Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the continuation of our horror block here at IndieFon Summer 2023. We are taking it one dimension up with Jewhorse running Madison Any Percent. Take it away, Juho. Hi, my name is Juho Jewhorse. Uh, welcome to Madison. Uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, ah, I can't even speak, sorry, it's 8am in the morning, I haven't slept yet, so there's that. Uh, welcome to Madison. Uh, this is gonna be one of three games that I'm gonna be showcasing on Indiethon. Uh, but yeah, Madison is, uh, one of the best horror games of 2022, which is last year. Uh, one of the best indie horror games of 2022, last year as well. Um, it was made by Bloodiest Games. It talks about, uh, demonic possession and family as well. Uh, I'll get to that later. But a few things I want to mention as well. One, uh, this game, uh, is on the down patch. So, basically, the reason why this game is on the down patch is, if you can see it, the version on the bottom right, it says 1.1.0. The current version is on 1.1.5, if I'm not mistaken. If they didn't update it after 1.1.5. But, yeah, so basically, the whole reason why this is a down patched version of the game is because there's skips. And, um, the, uh, the newer versions of the game actually has, um, patched uh, not like they patched the skips. Uh, I'm gonna be doing them um, in the run. It cuts out like 10 minutes from the previous routing of the game, so there's that. Um, and yeah, um, this game is also very scary and very gory and has a lot of epilepsy warning as well. So I'm gonna hopefully try to talk about the epilepsy warning or warn you guys about the epilepsy warning in the game. Uh, there's also a bit of like how you say it, like uh, I, w I would say like. Uh, suicide warning as well at the end of it, which I'm h hoping to actually stop <laughs> at the end of it. But, uh, yeah, time will start in, um, when I, uh, see the splash screen of the game, which is not now. So we have a little bit of time before the game actually starts. And I'll just tell you guys to start the timer anyways, because, you know... Um, we start the timer when we see the bloodiest game's splash screen actually come up. This is how it is. There's no countdown. So, there's that. Well, good luck. <laughs> Thanks! Yeah, um, happy to play Madison. Um, and start. There you go. So, yeah, uh, basically this game is a horror game. It was a, it's a psychological horror game where it talks about uh, a guy named Luca and... Luca is in his joint house with his parents and his grandparents. Basically, we are in his parents' house at the moment, and uh, we just found out that we actually um, murdered, I think, the sister and the mom along the way. And we're up to our first skip of the game, if I can actually do this first skip. If the... Hold on. There you go. So that's the first skip of the game, which is to get the hammer from uh, the, the little cabinet right there, or cupboard. Uh, without picking up a little handle right there as well. So that's uh, one of the strats that we are going to be doing uh, in the run of Madison where we uh, like we take items from paper thin walls and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so basically what happens is that like, spoiler alert, um, the mom and the sister are dead because you, uh, Luca, actually murdered them and now we are in the uh how you say it? we are in the grandparents house right now we are going to be finding out the mysteries on why we are possessed so there's that uh, i'm gonna grab grandpa's uh picture right here and then i'm gonna be running towards this there we go i should find a nail or something now we have to find a nail we're gonna get a nail from here so, this uh, game revolves around your Polaroid camera as well, because your Polaroid camera is actually like a possessed item that you have. Uh, basically, the Polaroid camera was given to you as a birthday gift by your grand grandpa, granddad, I guess. I did it way too early. There you go. Cool. Also, uh, I, I want to mention this, uh, this as well. Uh, Pride flag! <laughs> Uh, pride month is o pride month is over, but you know, um, I love to show my pride. Just means it's pride month too now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we are in like the grandparents' like house at the moment because it's a joint. It's really the joint house between your your parents and your grandparents. I don't know why, but there's that. 
Uh, anyways, this game is like a corridor simulator or like a, you know, like a hallway simulator where you just walk around the house and do a bunch of puzzles in order for you to actually, um, how you say, in order for you to actually find out the mystery behind the house. Uh, this is actually very RNG if I can actually remember what to do. There we go. So, um, which brings me to my next thing right here, which is RNG. Uh, as you can totally tell right now, I'm going to be writing down a bunch of notes. Uh, this is because this game is fully RNG. There are a bunch of puzzles in this game that are very RNG dependent. Um, but because of a few strats, which I'm going to be talking about later on in the game, um, some of them are going to be cut off, which uh, lowers down the RNG dependency of it. And uh, yeah, you can do it in less than like 50 minutes, which is good. What is this time? It's 640. I'm gonna write down a few stuff along the way. Uh, I'm gonna take a picture as well. There you go. 640. Uh, if you wanna take note of the time with me as well, please do so. Uh, what, 720, 640. Which I'm gonna be writing it down as well. But yeah, uh, there's a lot of RNG dependency in this game. Uh, the clocks are gonna be RNG dependent with uh, one of the puzzles later on in the game. Uh, the one that I took a Polaroid picture of, which is like a symbol. Um, it's gonna be another RNG dependency as well, like another puzzle. Also, wait. Among Us! <laughs> this game talks about Among Us, which is fun. Uh, I'm gonna go into the basement right here. Game. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna go into like the basement right now, and uh, basically, if I can remember what the times were, is it 6:40, 7:20? I hope it is. Sound right to me. Yeah, I know someone who also runs this game as well. Shout out to uh, Danny Rawfield. Uh, he runs this game. He has the world record of this game. Um, with I think a 41. 4120, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, he he runs this game a lot, so there's that. Um, I do also need to pick up or look at one of the photos as well, which I need to remember this. Uh, pitchfork, pitchfork. Yeah, there's a lot of writing down notes for this part of the game because you know, uh, it it helps out with like later on in um in the game. Um, it's so weird with the RNG as well because, you know, I, I feel like there's like a timed, um, like a time clock in the game because you can't really go down below 40 minutes but you can stay around 40 minutes to complete the game and stuff like that. It's so weird. But yeah, uh, that's what the note taking is. But basically, lore time right here if you guys want to know about the lore of this game. Um, Luca is the, uh, Luca is possessed. He's gonna turn into a demon pretty soon. Um, as you can tell right now, his hand is very, uh, red. Uh, also we get t tinnitus as well. If you do not like tinnitus, uh, very sorry. There's a lot of tinnitus right now. And then later on in the game, there's gonna be epilepsy warning as well. So, uh, if you are immune, uh, if you're not, not very good with, like, flashing lights, uh, please, you know. Uh, look away, I would say. But anyways, we are gonna take a picture of this uh, door right here. Because the door is is infested with cockroaches. And what? one thing they mentioned about the uh, in the recording is that, yeah, there are cockroaches. And uh, I need to actually remember what uh, the, the thing was with the symbols. If I could remember the symbols. There we go. This is one of them. This is another. I hope... Oh wait, no, 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 it's another one. I'm tired. <laughs> this is what happens yeah, when you have uh, it's, it's 8 a.m. brain, I guess. I hope that's correct, or... Uh, oh wait, uh... Is this correct? Why am I wrong? Oh no, is this gonna be a, like a casual playthrough? Oh no. I hope not. I believe. We also have a very supportive chat here who's already pointed out the, the time, so I have faith by our powers combined. <laughs> Am I getting this glitch? I hope not, because this is going to be very bad if I get this glitch. Okay, what? 
Yeah, this is gonna be really bad if I get this glitch like early on. Oh, wait. There you go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> but yeah. Never um, ready out. Yep. So, yeah, 8 a.m. brain, uh, very tired, uh, don't remember what to do in this game. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, this is like the first part anyways. But, you know, we're, we're gonna go on a, 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 a waiting section right here. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go on a waiting section right here. This is gonna be like a five, four or five minute, uh, like, waiting uh, point in the game. But basically what it is is that you you go into the basement you find out about the mysteries behind like this person called Madison Hale because Madison Hale is uh, someone who actually is from a cult and actually was told to kill a bunch of people uh, in this cult and then um, she could be like resurrected as a human or something like that as an he evil human but that's like uh, another story that we are going to be talking about later on in the game. <laughs> But yeah, right now I'm gonna be spinning around in circles, uh, walking around right here. Uh, if you're scared of, uh, like, jump scares and stuff like that, whoops, sorry. It's a jump scare as well. <laughs> and then we are gonna be waiting it out for another four to, four to five minutes. Uh, but also, at the same time, epilepsy warning, because this is gonna be very epileptic for some people. Um, I'm just gonna be doing this real quick. If I could actually point up. There we go. So we're going to be looking at this moon box just spinning around for uh, for the majority of the time. But yeah, so basically we are in the basement sewer at the moment. And we are listening to an officer trying to find who, uh, where Madison is uh, in order for like them to uh, arrest her and uh, put her into jail because she has murdered like about four to five people at this, at this point. Um... But yeah, uh, she was supposed to do like a sacrifice as well, which is kind of uh, horrific. Uh, two of them were uh, two of the victims were uh, Madison Hales' parents, which uh, which happens to be uh, like some kind of like a coincidence with like what Luca did with his mom and his sister with the whole killing, and. Weirdly enough, because he's uh, possessed at the moment, like uh, Luca is possessed at the moment, um, Luca is supposed to be completing the ritual that Madison Hale did not complete. So there's that. But also at the same time, there, that is one part of the story as well. We get to see uh, not only Madison Hale as a demon, we get to see like two other characters as a demon as well. One of them is like, I think the grandma. And then the other one is gonna be uh, someone called Blue Knees, where I think people would be very excited about, about Blue Knees. Uh, but yeah, if you got any donations, any got, uh, any kind of messages, you can also uh, talk about it right now. Awesome. I'll, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, while we are staring at this beautiful rotating uh, canister, uh, I'd love to just say that once again, we thank our longtime sponsor, Team 17, who has supported every marathon we have done. For this event, they have given us 19, yes, 19 games in four packs to give to lucky donors. For more info on our prizes, be sure to say exclam prizes in the chat. Uh, specifically to the horror block, recently, Team 17 released Killer Frequency. Killer Frequency is a first-person horror adventure that puts you in the shoes of Forrest Nash, a late-night radio host whose callers are stalked by a mysterious killer. Solve puzzles, save lives, and run the switchboards, all while listening to a jukebox of retro 80s tunes. Out now on Steam, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4 and 5, and Nintendo Switch. And if you don't believe how good this game is, just ask Angelisa, our head of social media. You want to know one thing about Killer Frequency? Please. I accidentally found a skip on Killer Frequency. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about what the skip is, but uh, if you want to speedrun the game, yeah, it, it, if you want to find out what the skip is, I guess, like, you know, ask me, I guess. But yeah, I found a skip and on- And it's a good frequency! <laughs> I don't even know how, uh, how, like, the speedrun of it is like, but, uh, hopefully the speedrun of it is actually really good, though. But yeah, uh, we're gonna be walking around in circle again, uh, this time in- inside the- inside the tape. Uh, it's not outside the, the circle, but inside. Uh, because we're gonna get one more jump scare in three, two, one. Boom. There we go. 
So yeah, um, you get this jump scare, it teleports you to another place right now, which uh, has eight doors uh, circling around you. Uh, basically, you're, you're supposed to find like one of the doors that uh, will lead you to the next part of the whole uh, escape room um, thing. So, uh, or thingamajig, I guess. Is it possible that Jesus so, I have to look down the floor. I have to take a picture of this uh, door right there. It's like a weird kind of uh, pattern where you see like these two photographs or Polaroid pictures together. And then you you see them and then you take a picture of it and it's like yeah cool and that's how you find out what the, the right door i would say because uh initially we thought it was rng but then someone was oh, yeah. saying that oh yeah yeah uh, look uh, look on the floor there's a uh, polaroid pictures uh you can actually take note of uh it's always the same so uh, uh we go by that anyways we are gonna be going towards the attic right now and the attic we have to uh pick up four uh like picture frames i would say but also we have to do math as well so uh, i i guess everyone loves math right haha 